I think something that is missing in our analysis is the understanding of this being very much an adolescent movement, an effort to, in fact, mark themselves as adults in the world. And ISIS is not only offering a new state, per se, but is actually offering them a sense of being an adult male or an adult female, but particularly uh, they are driving this idea of what's a real man. It, you'll see in some of their propaganda videos, they will be speaking to, as if he, they're speaking to you uh, in your home watching a video game and say, you know, wow. You know, you think you're a big man there with your video and shooting people. Why don't you come with us and actually become a man? So we have to look at the appeal, that rite of passage from adolescence to adulthood. Boys and girls are gendered beings and their gender is being used against them. Boys are being set up to be tiny terrorists. Girls are being set up to be child brides and sexual slaves. We must address this at the youngest level, why ISIS is using these kids as a part of their campaign. We must understand it, and we also must understand the space between ISIS and their borders, the refugees. We must begin to focus in on these refugees, help them, give them tools for analytical thinking, education, address the idle aspects of their lives. Beyond food, water, security, we must also provide protection and participation and ask them to help us in understanding how to defeat ISIS.